Hey everybody, I thought I would just make this quick video for everyone. Um, you know, I noticed after this last video that I put out regarding these guys that are attacking this channel, I noticed that I got a lot of subscribers, but you know what? The reason why you get subscribers after something like that is because people are looking for the truth. And uh, they're not looking for a bunch of people out there that have some agenda. They're looking for the truth. Now, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my channel. Um, I take a very neutral position in what I research. The information that this channel has found, uh, my name is Danny Wilton by the way, and the information that this channel has found, came I came about it by accident. And uh, what I found was I found these, these images of the Orion Nebula for whatever reason in these cathedrals and on their high altars and a lot of these frescoes and things like that in fact Michelangelo's brain picture that you see right here um, is actually a picture of the Orion Nebula also now the thing is is that uh, my background is a systems analyst so I don't just come out of the blue when I make these claims um, I begin to look for repetitivity and uh, as many of you know that have been subscribers for a long time I go deep into analysis uh, and I do it uh, very thoroughly and in fact some of you are probably very aware that I go so deep into the analysis sometimes that I can make people's eyes blur over but there is a reason that I do that okay because I think it is very important if I were to go to another channel and I were interested in a particular subject I don't like it when people just tell me something and expect me to believe it. I want them to show me why they think it is what they think it is, and I want them to show me evidence or some kind of uh, something that, that they can show me, some kind of a repetitive nature uh, across culture. Okay, That's extremely important to me, and so because that's important to me, and because I'm always skeptical like that, and I don't just buy things, uh, I expect that myself to be the same way and it may be too much for some people but uh, the people that are really interested in this stuff and there's not tons of people out there that are interested most people are interested in uh, drama okay whether it, what one drama or the next but I'm not really interested in reaching you know average Joe out there and be it's great if average Joe comes by the channel and becomes interested in this stuff that's a dream come true you know I, I, I like that kind of thing but this the kind of information that this channel puts out is uh, is not for everybody. It is a uh, it is digs way into the esoteric. And if there's one thing I have learned so far in producing uh, videos related to these subjects, is that you get haters from all sides. And it's just it just goes with the territory. You learn to put up with it after a while. Um, but you get you know the the science guys, the hardcore science guys, and this and I'm not trying to down anybody I'm just trying to give you the understanding of the way pe people typically are and you learn it after a while when you when you're doing these types of videos so anyways I discovered the Orion Nebula in these cathedrals and I have some videos you might want to check out down here in the collective unconscious list uh, check out this one called Michelangelo paints the Orion Nebula in the creation of Adam and just before that I have something called for reference Danny Wilton's transition overlay process because you always hear the people talking about oh this is photoshopped and stuff like that this video right here is just a quick 12 minute video to show you the process that I go through I do not photoshop uh, what I do is called a transition overlay where I don't alter the images at all um, I overlay them and I show you the progression and the point is for your eyes to be able to see the same thing all the way through and then I break them down into their subcomponents so anyways it's uh something you should definitely check out but I began to notice that there is a repetitive pattern of the same Orion Nebula in these cathedrals and it was when I, when I noticed the repetitivity of this because the first time I saw it uh, you know I was like well, there's no way right so obviously as a systems analyst the first thing that we do if we're pretty sure that we're seeing something uh, but we only have one instance of it we have to find other piece we have to find other instances of the same kind of thing happening otherwise it could just be a fluke well I began to find the same repetitive nature of things it started with Carl's Kurtz then I saw the same kind of thing in uh, the chair of St. Peter I saw the same thing in the Mother Jesuit Church which is what 
this is right here called Triumph of the Name of Jesus. And what I began to notice, and this is before I knew any of this kind of material, okay, but I became, I, can, I would almost say obsessed with it because I had to figure out what was going on, okay? To any kind of an analyst, and if you're an analyst out there and you see something like this where you see clear evidence of something re recurring that is beyond what should be possible, it will cause you to be it'll cause you to be obsessed with it. But in the obsession, uh, a good analyst remains balanced. He presents information. He goes around to all these different things. So what this channel does is, after I started finding these things, I needed to understand what I was looking at, and I noticed that in these various places, I would see certain symbolism applied to the area whether it be IHS or whether it be Jesus. And then I started noting certain symbolism. Uh, now, mind you, okay, I am not a Christian who follows the mainstream. I'm not even a Christian at all, okay? I don't follow mainstream religion because mainstream religion, in my opinion, is all about a control system. And, um, you know, they want, they want to control you and they want to interpret things for you a certain way. And that's not the way that I believe. I believe, and this is my personal opinion, is that all of these ancient texts that you find from the Bible to the pyramid texts to the Kabbalah to all these various texts out there, what you find is that they all tell pretty much the same story. But just like anything else, you have to be a good investigator. And so, but they tell, um, it's not about the whole worship thing. That only comes, in fact, I can't think of really much that it comes from except for the Bible or possibly Islam or something like that. You know, when you talk about Buddhism, when you talk about uh, the pyramid texts, you talk about uh, Kabbalah, you talk about a lot of these other things, they're not all talking about worshiping like the Christian Bible does. And the, and the, the whole purpose, and and, uh, and the reason I get attacked from both sides is because if I mention the Bible, I get attacked by the atheists or the scientists. And if I mention something that is a symbol... Now, one of the things that you find all the time, you find that these, these symbols, like you see right here, have been demonized. Okay, So when you do this kind of research, every little step you take... Okay, there are people out there that are either calling you a demon or they're saying that you're, uh, you know, they're demonizing Freemasons and they're applying symbolism to being bad things and stuff like this. And I have found that every time that happens, it's always the exact opposite. But I am fair in the sense that I look at science and I look at the stories and the information or whatever data we find in these ancient religious texts. Now, uh, now, to support the religious guys, okay, the scientists that we see, the mainstream hardcore scientists, these guys are just as idiotic sometimes as what you see as the fanatics on the religious side. Because the scientists pay no attention whatsoever, except for maybe what you see in the Thunderbolts project, which I'm very happy to see, but they, they didn't, I think they, did, they needed to dig a little bit deeper than they did, and they would have found some things. They did, did, they did take a look at the ancients, though. And I'm very proud to see that science is actually doing that because science so often discards uh, everything that you find in these ancient or religious texts as being something regarding worship. But there's, that, that is unscientific because what you see in a lot of these ancient religious texts are you see scientific information. And that's the reason why I believe that this electric universe theory stuff I posted recently showing that kind of thing, showing that the esoteric supports the electric universe theory, and I've shown it all over the place in all these various texts and stuff, uh, I think that's one, maybe one of the reasons why uh, I'm getting attacked regarding that kind of stuff. But the way this channel operates, okay, is I do not, uh, I'm not afraid of symbolism, because after you learn, you learn after a while that all symbolism has its origins in nature. These aren't these real powerful symbols like you see with the eye and the triangle. That didn't originate from man. Well, it, it did because it originated from the first man. But it didn't originate from somebody in some corporate headquarters coming up with something and it being the Illuminati. That's all, that's all garbage. And that's done to scare people away from it. These types of symbols originate in nature and they're extremely important. And when you understand what they mean, they tell you all about yourself and they tell you about the cosmos. Um, so I'm not afraid of symbolism, I'm not afraid of science, and I'm not afraid of religion. 
I'm not afraid of any of that stuff. If, if there's anything as far as the, what I attempt to do is I attempt to find these stories that are found everywhere because to me as an analyst the more things I can confirm and see the same story appearing in many different places in many different texts and so forth that means I'm able to, to I can feel better about the information as it comes out you know if I see that the nature of the universe is electrical in the Kabbalah, that it's electrical with what Blavatsky shows us, that we see it's all electrical in the Bible, we see that it's electrical from the uh, from the uh, Hindu philosophy and all these, and the Egyptians, and when we see those types of patterns occurring all over the place, when we see the same symbolism and the same descriptions and things like this applying all over the place, it is the only logical scientific approach to take to, to begin to look at, and that's the problem with mainstream science, see? Mainstream science does not give the ancients or the religious guys any credit for the information that are, that are found in their texts. But on the other side of the coin, the religious guys are so fanatics sometimes that they don't allow they don't they don't allow themselves to use their own minds to interpret things the way that or dig into the information or look at other things besides the Bible so here the problem here is this okay I don't see too many people that are well-rounded enough to look at all of the data from everywhere and begin to put it together and that's one of the things that this channel does so when I present information to you what I'm actually doing is I'm going and lo I'm looking at the Kabbalah I'm looking at Blavatsky that people call evil, which she wasn't, and it turns out that she knew a lot about the electric universe. The same things she describes in her secret doctrine are the same things that we see the Thunderbolts Project describing. Okay, But people don't look at this stuff because they're told that it's either evil or people try to make these other people out to be frauds. This kind of thing happens all the time. The only way, and there's not anybody out there, or not too many people that I see anyway, that I, for example, I learned that when the masses tell me not to read or look at something, that is the first thing I go take a look at. I've learned that because I know that usually uh, up is down and down is up, left is right, and right's left. Every time you hear the masses or the majority tell you not to do something or not to look at something, it is usually the exact opposite. Good is always bad. Bad is always good. The Pope dresses in white, okay? So that's what you learn. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of people out there that point to groups and say this group is bad and that rarely occurs. Sometimes it does, but I have found in all my research that I've gathered information from people like Athanasius Kircher who was a Jesuit priest a long time ago who provided valuable information in some of his alchemical drawings that we see right here. But overall, I have issues with the uh, Jesuits which um, you know, I think there's a lot of them that have done some really bad things. Uh, I don't have problems with Freemasons at all. Uh, I think they've been completely demonized. Um, I don't have problems with uh, uh, Christians either. Um, I just don't like to be attacked with all of that everything is evil stuff. And I don't have problems with scientists either because I think science is just as important in all this. See, what I would like to see in the end is that I would like to see a set of people that would deal with, that will dig into the research and the symbolism enough to be be unbiased and not hold any kind of grudges against one group or the next. See, that's the reason we're not learning anything really as a whole because we have not learned to come together and say, well, let me take a look at what you got, you know. And then the other group says, well, okay, well, I'll take a look at what you got and see if there's anything in there that, that I can apply it to what I'm learning. And if we would do that all over the place, we would learn so quick, so quickly about things. But that just isn't the way things happen in, in this world, unfortunately, at least not yet. I think the Internet's hopefully changing that some. But that's what I do, see. Um, I guess that's kind of what an analyst does, you know. He kind of brings people together from all the different locations but we also get it really bad from everybody too because it, since we contain the data from everybody uh, as soon as you present something that the opposite pole doesn't like you get some you, you know you get attacked for it and that's it doesn't matter if I were to mention something with, with symbolism 
uh, then I get attacked by for religious fanatics. If I mention something in the Bible, I get attacked by atheists and scientists. So you can see how it goes. It's not a, it's not an easy thing to do, but there is real important information found in all of this symbolism that we see. And I, I look at things like, I've looked at Plato, uh, I've looked at all the ancient philosophers, the Greek guys and stuff. Um, I'm, a, I'm a total fan of Manly P. Hall. Uh, if I could have a grandfather right now, I would choose Manly P. Hall if he were alive. Uh, and if you haven't listened to his material, go to manlyphall.us and you'll see a whole archive of stuff, a lot of stuff you'll have to clean. But the reason I like him so much is because the way my discoveries happened is I discovered these things first, but every time I would go and listen to him on a topic, he would describe what I was, had been discovering. And he would always come up with what made sense based on what I was seeing. And so over time, I learned to trust him. That's, that's the reason why I like Manly Hall. Uh, yeah, he was a 33rd degree Freemason, but phew, my God, if you want to learn information, that's the guy to check out when it comes to this subject. But as you can see, like the brain you see in Michelangelo's drawing, and what you'll see in some of these images and stuff like that, it's taken about two or three years to really, and a lot of my time, to dig and find out what's going on. And I go everywhere. I go to Kabbalah, I go to the Bible, I go to the ancient pyramid texts. I look at symbolism on geography uh, to, you know, and what the ancient Egyptians were doing. I look at temple geometry. I found out that, that everything is pretty much based around man because the ancients believe that man is a little universe and the universe is a large man, right? And it turns out that there's some very esoteric information I've discovered regarding reality on this channel that, uh, uh, that if you are extremely mainstream person, you aren't going to get. You have to under. You have to. You have to be an analyst. You have to. You, I'm not saying you have to believe in something, because the information and the data is there. Uh, but you have to. Uh, you have to be willing to say that there are things about reality that we don't understand yet. Um, so anyways, this is a little bit about my channel. I wanted to give you kind of what I do and what, uh, you know, what I try to show. And as most of you know, who are already subscribers to my channel, I always attempt and show you the texts. I always back my stuff up. I don't just say this is the way it is. I show it and then I, I try to find as many different places as I can locate that shows the information and how it backs up and how it makes sense that's extremely important to me and for this type of information especially uh, it has to be and anytime there's a truth out there uh, it's my opinion that truth no matter what it is can be backed up you should find you have you should have some way to be able to back up a truth you can't just say oh well I you know I channel it so you should believe me you know like the uh, Galactic Federation and that kind of crazy stuff you know it's like I say I'm Salusa from the Galactic Federation and this is what's going to happen and you should believe me just because I said so. That's BS. I don't believe in that kind of stuff at all. If you're giving somebody information, or if you're giving somebody what you believe to be a truth, then it is your responsibility to be able to back that up somehow. You should be able to show them some kind of evidence, some kind of repetitivity, something that supports your theory. And you should be able to do it and you, you ultimately you should do it with as many locations as possible because obviously the more times the more things that you show that back your theory up the stronger your theory becomes that's just simple logic that's what this channel does so I show very esoteric very reality based you know I just had a video I had to put out on metaphysics and stuff like that but it turns out that all the things that I've been discovering now for the last two or three years come from uh, people like uh, Plato. This goes all the way back into ancient Greek philosophy and even before because Plato got uh, the mysteries from ancient Egypt. It dates all the way back to that. But I cover a wide range from symbolism to geometry, the understanding of man himself, the geometry of man, symbolism in the temples, the cosmos, the Ryan Nebula and what its relationship is to us and what it, its, our, its relationship to earth and all of these things. And here's the deal. There's only one channel 
so far that ever produced any videos to try to uh, I don't know I wouldn't say he I would say he was just trying to be a prick and he's still got some of them out there his name is True Theorist C3 and I highly recommend that you go watch his videos and see the way he presents the information okay he doesn't and then come and take a look at how I present my information okay and then see there has been no one and I have made this offer several times there has been no one out there and I welcome anybody again uh, lots of whiners lots of people attacking but no one who's put out one video yet who has been an analyst or a systems analyst or anybody that's dug deep into anything and proven any of the stuff that, that I have is debunked and the reason why that is folks is because you cannot debunk it it's that plain and simple there's just too much evidence that I have presented now over the last two or three years from so many different places so many different places and that's the reason why I did that and uh, so but I offer you know anybody out there so, you know if you're gonna attack the channel or whatever guys uh, make a video prove me wrong you'll be the first because there's just been too much evidence over the years that I've been, been presenting and for all of the people that are new that's the way I go about doing things I dig into some very uh, esoteric uh, hidden types of things that you find in these texts it deals with reality it deals with the cosmos and it deals with man himself um, it's way out there stuff that you've never you've probably heard about before but you've never really seen before and there's some stuff in here that'll make your eyes open but it's important for you to remember that I always back it up in as many places as possible and I go into high detail even when you may be tired of hearing about it I will dig into so much detail because I it's important for me to prove what I'm showing to you just like I've been showing you this creation of Adam now for a long time and then just recently I found that he was actually using the folds in the brain to depict this well yeah I've elaborated on it okay yeah people noticed there that he painted a brain a long time ago but then I noticed that they did it wrong they flipped the brain around wrong uh, it was still speculative because it was done very poorly whoever did it but now it's done to such a detail and you can see what's going on that it makes it very very strong theory and so all of the stuff that you will see on this channel is all backed up by Plato, it's all backed up by the ancient philosophers, it's backed up by Kabbalah, it's backed up by the Bible, it's backed up by the Thunderbolts project, it's backed up by Blavatsky and all these other uh, these things like this that you see. So it's backed up by both the scientific side and it's backed up by all of the religious texts but you have to know what you're looking for but the only way you know that is if you read all these various texts and compare and see what's going on which people just don't do so anyways that's what I wanted to show, tell you about as far as this channel goes um, for you new subscribers um, uh, I love intelligent comments uh, I don't mind disagreements at all you can disagree with me all day long what I don't put up with is what these guys tried to pull on this you know last video signing on with multiple accounts making general I mean I, I've been around the block and I know I could spot a shell in two seconds you know they have these certain things that they do making general comments having no argument uh, trying to dig things up on you and stuff like that and so when that kind of thing occurs uh, I have no problem getting rid of the people because I'm not going to let them ruin it for everybody else. But as far as disagreements go, I love it. As far as intelligent criticism goes, please do it. You know, I love that because that kind of stuff makes me think, and that's good for everybody. So welcome to the channel if you're new, and um, I'll be covering a lot more stuff here in this, uh, soon on metaphysics. Uh, we're going to start getting into some more of Plato uh, and an understanding of what he was talking about when he was talking about mind. We're going to start taking a look at, look at reality a little bit more and we're going to uh, recircle back to some things I had shown you regarding Egypt and the cosmos and stuff like that here eventually. Uh, if you're interested in some important videos to see, I would definitely watch the Electric Sun Theory videos. The first one is a preview of all the rest of the seven parts. I would definitely watch these important start starter videos. Uh, this one called Black Hole Sun is pretty good. It's about a year old, but there's so much material coming out that that 
things become get old rather quickly okay so what you saw a year ago is got a lot of valid stuff in it but there may be some things where I have uh, discovered more information or what have you but that's that's just the way scientific stuff goes you learn more about something as you go uh, but it's a very good video the whole term black hole I've never really said that there is a black hole I've never really said that there's a plasmoid I've always kind of left that open right because I don't know but what I what I did I discovered this vortex that I call a vortex in the in the middle of the Orion Nebula I found it in these cathedrals and then it was a year later when NASA put something out on it so I discovered it before NASA did so there's a lot of credibility at what I find in these cathedrals and art and stuff like that and I have videos to prove that as well this cosmic Christ don't be fooled by the name okay uh, it has nothing to do with Jesus okay it has something to do with uh, it's a cosmic understanding of man at its its, its highest level uh, it's definitely something good to watch. Goes into ancient Egypt. Get a manly P. Hall is the narrator. Carl Jung, uh, I mentioned him in it. There's just all kinds of people in there, uh, and it shows you some of the artwork. The first man is from uh, is really good. It's from uh, uh, the first man and understood that we hear in the Bible uh, is actually a misinterpretation of the way that they teach it in the mainstream. The first man was actually a cosmic man. And the cosmic man is actually the nebula of Orion. That's actually the first man that we see, the first human. Uh, this goes into that. Uh, there's some other things. This all-seeing eye in the sky, if you're interested in that symbolism, this is a must-see. And people have loved this one so far. Uh, see if there's anything else that I can show you here. Um, this is the one where I discovered, I just wanted to post the video to show everybody that NASA found this one year after I did, the vortex in the center of the trapezium. The uh, This mirror between heaven and earth, this is what we're going to get into here pretty soon uh, regarding some of this stuff. Uh, so this collective unconscious stuff are, is based on the artwork of the Orion Nebula found in these cathedrals. Uh, I try to make it entertaining but at the same time very informative in what you're seeing. Uh, there's a lot of pattern recognition and stuff like that. So if you can't recognize your own mother's face, I wouldn't even attempt to do it. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so uh, the important starter videos, uh, the electric sun videos, um, and uh, some down here I've got stuff with temple geometry. Uh, very interesting. We find that man is the is the is what's being used in Solomon's temple, Hindu temples, and stuff like this. So I go around the block. I take a look at the ancient Egyptian temples. Solomon's Temple, the design, and all this other kind of stuff, Vatican City, and some other places, and we find that man is actually uh, what's being, the, is, is what the temple is. The temple is actually man. I've got some stuff down on Atlantis, Atlantis right here. I, I uh, used Plato's information along with some other people and found the location of Atlantis, and I show it uh, actually right here. But anyways, uh, that's about all I wanted to show you. Uh, this channel is, is extremely interested in the truth. I've always been truthful about this stuff. Um, I've always been extremely thorough. I go around and I look at everything and I show you as many things as possible because that's important to me. Um, and especially is important for this kind of material uh, because, because you, you have to prove yourself on this because it's not covered enough. There's not enough things in this where you can say, well, everybody knows that. You just can't do that because not everybody knows that. So you have to go and you have to constantly find as many things as you possibly can to back yourself up. So, anyways, you guys have a great day and expect more in the uh, metaphysics area. I hope any new subscribers enjoy this channel. Feel free to comment below. Thanks a lot.